Mm. But now that somebody is feeling hypersensitive, I am giving you suggestions. <laughs> my, my daughter is getting married, and the bastard is telling you that you know you can divorce her and all that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that guy also <laughs> keeps his mouth shut. But individually, the Muslim is supposed to. Our, our hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, we're gonna be checking out Muslim divorce. Check Ahmed that part two. Guys, we just finished part one, so this is part two. Guys, let's get straight into this. What happened? You. What village are you from? That Keshwar. Yeah, right. That that Keshwar. That Keshwar. Mm. Is, is it that Keshwar? Is the Hindu way? Mm. Keshwar. So, like you, you're married now, mm. but you married in exchange. You know, the other guy's sister married you, and your sister married that one. And now your wife was giving you trouble. Well, you can come out. So you said, talak, talak, talak. Good. Right. Finish. You told her, she was crying to your mother's house. Mm. You know. You said, the guy divorced me. Your brother in law was in the past. He divorced my wife, sister. Right. That guy's sister mm-hmm. was married to him. Talak, 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 talak. But there were two sisters. <laughs> ah, this yeah. guy's two sisters there. Mm-hmm. Your two, so the other brother comes and says, Master, even this is my own sister. <laughs> Three divorces in one day, mm-hmm. in one family. Mm-hmm. So I says, Now, did a Mulvi speak about this subject? No. He's not speaking about this at all. Why? Why? So I tell you, I said, The right time to talk this, what I'm talking about. Mm. He's on the occasion of marriage. Mm. You know, marriage is taking place, a, a, a little talk before this thing. This subject should be spoken there, then. I said, you see, in Islam, Islam allows you talaq. Mm. But now, these are the conditions of talaq. This is what Allah laid down for you. In everything else, Islamic, how to pray? The Quran says, look at the Prophet. Mm. The way he did, you do. Fasting. How? Mm. So look at the Prophet. Hajj. So look at the Prophet. Divorce. He doesn't say it. It's the only subject in the Quran which is dealt with comprehensively. Because Allah wouldn't allow his Prophet to divorce his wife to set as an example. Our mother. Because the wife of the Prophet is our mother. So he must divorce our mother to give us an example how to divorce. No, no, no. So he goes and spells it out for you. That's the only topic in the Quran which is dealt with comprehensively. The yeah, whole surah is whole surah is talaq. And, but nobody knows it. Nobody knows it. So now, the right time is when you're getting married. I must tell mm. you, I said, look, you see... Well, you, you speak at weddings, don't you? Yes. No, no, then again, it's uncalled for. You see, at the wedding, like, as soon as I speak about talaq, Everybody will say, look at this the, 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 the bride's father and the family, they think I'm suggesting something to you. Mm. That you see, my son, you know, you got a chance of, you know, mm. I'm doing that to you. So it's not in good taste. Mm. But that's the right time mm. to warn you. Mm. Don't do silly, silly, bloody things, you know. But you see, if you want to, then. But in other words, I'm giving you ideas. So that guy doesn't like it. So I just say nice, nice things about you, and you say nice, nice things. But that is the right time. We should, we should tell, talk to the people, let them know. Because they, when else can you? At a funeral, you're going to talk about this? Mm. No. <laughs> when, when are you going to talk? At Maulud, you're going to talk about this? No. When are you going to talk about this? So the subject is never discussed. But the right time is marriage. I must now tell, show all the pros and cons. All this, my son, is to be on guard. Mm-hmm. But now that somebody is feeling hypersensitive, I'm giving you suggestions. <laughs> my, my daughter is getting married, and the bastard is telling you that you know you can divorce her and all that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that guy also <laughs> he keeps his mouth shut. But individually, the Muslim is supposed to. And he doesn't. Our, our drawback, the Muslim is, he doesn't know his book. The Christian, whatever, he knows his book. The right or wrong, but he knows his book. We we don't know our book. We are only living by what we heard. You saw this article I did with Islamic mm-hmm. Correspondence College. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll go through it. That, that's that's one of the avenues you should use. Yeah, you know, to teach uh, to teach the Islam. Yes, and we its need doctrine. to study course. Open the door to knowledge. Islam. 
You know this, right? Yeah, it's Yusuf Muhammad, yeah. Mm. No, I'm going to start a course, I think, every Saturday morning. Mm. Every Saturday morning in Ramadan, I have a two-hour course. Mm. An intensive course in comparative religion, free of charge, <coughs> two hours. Uh, At your cinema? No, no, no. Yeah. no I have only 30 students. Mm -hmm. I just did the course in Cape Town. I call it a combat kit. Oh, yeah, right, the, like the book. So the now, video. I says, now, I want you to do the exercise. Just like me talking to you, all what I spoke to you just now. Mm. I just said, man, this is very interesting. You know, this thing, suppose I was interviewing the guy on, on, on TV. You know, this could be a lovely program. You know, all this, mm, and enlightening the guy and entertaining. It's, it's, my talks are also entertaining as well as enlightening. Mm -hmm. I'm educating you, at the same time, I, I'm entertaining you. Mm -hmm. And everybody relishes it. Whatever I talk, even nonsense. If I talk, you seem to say that. Uncle, <laughs> you carry on. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You're getting entertained, you see. <laughs> so I did a course in, in Gatesville in uh, Cape Town. I mm -hmm. went to every day. Last, last, right. week, last week I was there. And I said that, that gave me an idea. Mm -hmm. Two hour course. Every Saturday morning, you mm -hmm. can also come and take for two hours. Right. Is it just two hours? Well, I keep and all my fasts, sir. So, huh? I, I fast every Ramzan. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you see, nobody wakes up when my mother for Ramzan. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Siri in the morning, so. <laughs> so I fast to that. Lovely. Every year. Lovely, lovely. You see, but now we say, the fasting you have done, you have gone through the mill, mm -hmm. but intention is the thing that is acceptable in the sight of God. Your intention. You've gone through the the process, you paid the price, mm -hmm. but you didn't have the intention of paying for the ticket. You just like you threw that money away. Mm -hmm. You can't get entry mm -hmm. into heaven. You must say, right, I do it for this. It's right, okay, it's accepted. You know, stay in lieu of this. That means your intention is to fast. Because God wants me to fast. Why does he want you to fast? The Quran says, the so fasting is prescribed for you, as well as those before you, mm -hmm. that ye may learn self-restraint. That's the purpose of fasting. Yeah, so, that's what I do it for. That for, you for learn discipline. Discipline. Mm -hmm. So he says, now you're thirsty, man. You're thirsty. Mm -hmm. huh? And there's cool, refreshing water in the, in the fridge of Coke. He says, yeah. I won't touch it. And the throat is gone dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have vowed. You can feel with your wife in that direction. She's happy. You are happy. He says, no. I shan't do it because I'm fasting. Mm -hmm. Now, what's doing now? You can control yourself. Mm -hmm against what is lawful for your own wife. She is happy to entertain you, but he said, no, I shall do it. You are thirsty, the water is there. Mm. The cook is there, but he said, no, I shall touch it. So it makes it easy for you to, to restrain yourself from forbidden things. That's the discipline. Mm. The Muslim and you, we are marching, we lost our way, and we are thirsty. Both of us are thirsty, and you see a pool of water. You will go jump in for it. Mm. The Muslim, as I don't know, you know <laughs> he, yeah. he can still hold on because he's used to say, no. And you see, I must verify whether the water is, <laughs> is pure or this and that before I drink it. You will you know, shh, jump into it, it could be poison. Right. So he says, that, that discipline, discipline, that is the purpose of fasting, nothing else. So he says, no, I do it for that reason. Bless him. You just do it it's because my mother doesn't <laughs> <laughs> So you get the benefit all right, yeah. but uh, not the reward. Right. Yeah, this was an amazing talk. Like, I feel this is one of the best I can say I've had from Ahmed that Like, I love that. I love that. If I'm being honest, this is one of the best I have had from him. And I feel... I met mean, that went deep on this. Like he explained it. There's like something that he really wanted to talk about talk about since and he just had the chance to like express himself. And I like the way he he was he's always honest. Like he's one thing I missed about him. If he wants to talk to you, he said as it is. He does not want to like he doesn't really care about how you feel. He just told you the way it is. And I feel if you listen to those kind of people, you get the truth and you move on with your life faster. Like, 
your life is fast because you know what you're supposed to do you know the truth and no one is trying to make you feel good everybody's telling you the truth like maybe someone's telling you you need to eat three times to grow fat and you are eating two times but he is telling you you need three times like you need to eat three meals to grow fat and you know this is what i need to do so you walk towards doing it and i like the way he explained the talent like he gives you this kind of understanding why you should not do it like only if you guys are no longer compatible like you know that this is not the right person for me like i honestly feel we made a mistake and yes in that point where it is you you guys understand that this is a mistake yes it's 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 good but not when he divorced her and yeah you want to get back to her now when you want to divorce somebody if you you should know in your spiritual mind that you are done like you are done i never pray that for anybody in the mind of jesus it shouldn't come like no i don't do this like it's, it's really hard it's hard it's hard on you it's hard on her it's hard on the kids like to be honest it's hard can i tell us what you think about this video just to like share, subscribe to our channel we'll see you next time guys please